Welcome back all you awesome viewers back to the awesome prank guy channel. I'm Brendan and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm very excited to see what's going on. Let's see where we get to go on our adventure in the unknown. Hint, you can use the skip button to fast forward through text you've already read. Thank you. So it looks like today we're doing, we're going to be writing some poems. Oh, good. It's just me having to choose some random words. Spinning. That sounds fun. Childhood disarray. Party. Hop. Headphones. Memories. Spinning. Flamily. Flower. All flowers. Um. Family. I have no idea. I just wanted to start with family. Boop. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Um, poof. We gotta have a poof. Kawaii. Kawaii. Let's go to Kawaii together. Puppies. I love puppies. Is that me when they're jumping up and down? That probably means I'm getting their affection, am I? Well, I do like Natsuki. I don't know why, I just do. Flea, Melody, Rose, Treasure, Tears. Rose. I don't know what to do. Agonizing desire clouds. Chocolate. Candy. It looks like she likes everything that's sweet or cute. Or just all alone, just me. <laughs> infinite rainbow. Can I just do infinite rainbow? Parfait, socks, giggle, awesome, yeah, you gotta put awesome on there, people, smile, kiss, bubbles, fireworks sounds awesome, I mean, seriously, peace lollipop, Let's whistle while you work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, no, I don't know. What, should I do whistle? Let's do whistle. Let's do whistle since I sang the song. Hi again, Brendan. Oh no, reading. <laughs> Last time I did this, I went, came back with a dry throat and an awful case of not wanting to talk anymore. So let's see how well I do this time. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. At least we do that. Well, I'm back at the literature club. At least we're not back in the class room with that blackboard. Who <sighs> the blackboard? I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Brendan. Aw, oh, you're welcome. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. No, no, not at all. Making you d dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Yeah. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Oh, lovely. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Well, that might be true, but I can change. People can change. And last year, too. <laughs> now I'm feeling more bad about this. I don't know if you plan to just come here and then hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh, great. Now, Tsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Natsuki tries to does not blow. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <laughs> manga is literature. Yeah, of course it is. That's why I call comic books are literature too. They have great stories to tell. I can get the, or I can get her. Really, I I agree so much. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Oh, hello, Sayori. Brendan always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Yeah, that sounds like me. He helps me with busy work. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. <laughs> cleaning your room. 
How dependable. <laughs> Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. Wow. So messy's... <coughs> I choked on my saliva. <coughs> so her room is so mess messy, it's so distracting. Oh boy. I know what that feels like. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> oh, that's even worse. Is that so? <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh yeah, but I feel a little jealous too. How come? How come? You and Brennan can become good friends too. Um, um, uh, Sayori. Hmm. Dot dot dot. As usual, Sayori, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation put she put us in me put me into put us into yes uh, no she put me into oh oh. Yuri even brought brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori? Uh, me? You got me a gift you shouldn't have. Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Surya made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in uh, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, seriously. <laughs> I think I'm psychic anyway. I won't make it a big deal out a big deal if you don't want it to be. <laughs> I am not going to be able to speak at all during the series. I I can't read. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know. Discuss it if you wanted. Th this is. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? I don't know. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yeah, that that. I wish a, I, I no girl has done that to me. So I'm like, ugh. Am I itching my nose again? Please don't tell me it's itching again. Uh, I'm I'm done. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Hmm. That's usually what I do. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is buried, already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki is roaming around in the closet. Oh, where are we going? Ugh. I hear Natsuki, uh, Natsuki, uh, utter, uh, blah, blah, utter, 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 utter an, un an ex aspirated sigh with, within the closet, from within the closet. Blah! What was with that sentence? It was so weird. She seems to be annoyed by something. I can do sentences, I just can't do something sentences like that for some reason what is wrong with me I approach her in the in case she needed a hand needs a hand needed or needed a, need, needs a hand I don't know I can't do grammar you look you're looking for something in here freaking Monica what what did she do she never puts my stuff back in the right spot uh oh I know the feeling what's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone's go else is gonna mess it up yeah, that means don't let your friends touch your stuff. <laughs> Unless you really trust them in touching your stuff. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the cell shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sure. Sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into until you figure out wh where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up some point. Oh, did I? I might have accidentally said something. <laughs> Oops. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. On your face. Oh, really? It's written on my face? Oh, great. 
What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone... There's a lone... Blah, 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 blah. There's a lone volume of manga amidst the stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious to pull it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to the box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. See, a box... Blah, blah, blah. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Do you have a extreme case of OCD, or are you just like organizing things? I know that feel. Maybe I do, and I actually, as yes, I actually kind of do. If it's my stuff I organize, then I actually become a little OCD on my stuff. I get close to the uh, blah, blah blah. Why can't I read? Tell me, tell me, viewers, why can't I read? Oh, you, you can't talk to me. Oh. Well, I'll continue. I get a closer look at the box set... At the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls. It's a series I've never heard in, of in my life. You and me both. I read Spider-Man, so... <laughs> I'm a humongous Spider-Man if you guys... Fan, if you guys don't know. I, I love reading the comic books. I love the movies, and... I just... I, it's just my thing, you know? So when you say comic books and you ask me my favorite comic book series, I'm going to say Spider-Man, so... Don't... don't get mad at me, I mean, seriously. That probably means it's either out, out, way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. <laughs> if you're going to judge, you can do, go do it through the glass on that door. I wasn't judging, unless you led my facial expressions. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Brendan. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, that's a great lesson. Uh, all to all you viewers out there, do not judge a book by its cover. Read the read the summary still and find out if you read the summary of the book instead. If you if the summary intrigues you, then go ahead and read the book. If the summary doesn't intrigue you, well, it could make your decision for you, but you could still try it out if you want. You might get be surprised of what books might be very good. Mm. In fact, Natsuki, pu Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. Sounds familiar. I wonder where I've heard that before. Ah, uh, probably it would come to me in one point. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there, huh? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window seals. Aw, oh, that's great. She pats the ground next to her, signaling me to sit her there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Yeah, I know, seriously, I don't like sitting on the floor. I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why's that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Oh no, I said something wrong. Don't just say that. Oh, oh sorry. You'll make it feel... You're making me... You're, you'll make me feel weird. Blah! I can't read this. Wait one moment. I need a breather. <sighs> there, I'm done. You'll make me feel weird about this. There! I said it. Natsuki crosses her arms and, arms and scooches an inch away from me. Oh, sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before not once again the uh, before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. Well, I noticed, or else I wouldn't be saying this. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. How long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm. You don't go back to flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I'll, I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, no. I am, but nothing really happened yet, so I can talk about this uh, talk at the same time. It looks like it's a. Ah! 
Why can't I read? It looks like it's about a bunch of girl friends in high school. Wow, sounds familiar. Okay. <laughs> typical slice typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a, is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. Wow, she was looking at me like I did not know uh, that I, I was dumb. Like I said something stupid. Oh, okay, like I was dumb. No, like I said something stupid. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I don't know. You might be those types of girls that don't like plots and stories. I I don't judge. Yeah, I spit. Why did I do that? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at an ice cream sh at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they... Ugh. Like when they get into all their backstories, and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. Oh yes, romance! Romance makes everything better. There are so many touching parts. Oh really? Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Hehe. <laughs> hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I said something wrong again! Why am I so mean? Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant it that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Hmm. good save. Yeah, no. Ah, this chapter, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah? Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... Just coincidence. Just a coincidence. Yeah, but sometimes you can get into a story by, uh... Oh, what is it? Ah, oh, I had a mind blink. By your traits, like what you like to do, you can get into a story if you have similar um, hobbies like that. So, I can get what she's at going at here. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like, I would never get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that's... Anyone that... Im Blah! I feel bad for any of that or anyone that impressionable. Uh, la, 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 la. I hate reading, apparently. Ah ha ha! Definitely not a coincidence. I guess this, that explains Osuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick from the a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, I have to agree. Not to mention, she's really good at it. So who am I to judge? Oh. Oh my goodness, this is such a cute picture! Why did we get such a cute picture? Oh my goodness, her eyes are like cute! Why am I- oh my... This is just a cute picture. I mean, seriously. Dot dot dot! Yay! Dot dot dots! I love the dot dot dots. We read for a few more minutes. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. Dot dot dot. Are you sure this isn't bo bo boring you? Uh, ugh. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince all, any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Oh no, she doesn't know what I mean. Hmm. You don't. Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Can you not rub it in? Oh, does she not have friends? Oh, no, wait, she does have friends. These are all friends of hers. She probably just doesn't have friends that enjoy manga. Why did I touch my eyes? I don't know. I like touching my face, apparently. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, oh, sorry. Hmph. Like, I could get into... 
ever get my friends to read this? I don't know, have you ever tried? They think- they just think manga is for kids. That's what people say with comic books too, but I enjoy reading them. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Uh, I know the feeling. Actually, I also had some friends that also enjoy comic books. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Oh, you better not. Uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who just don't- who don't judge. Much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gra gra gravitated toward the other losers over time. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a loser. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? Me being a loser or you? Are you I'm having a little harder of a time? I mean, I feel like I can't keep even keep it. Ugh. I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Uh. Well. We know what they say, when you lose, you learn something, but when you win, hey, it's happy. Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Well, probably not. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Dot, dot, dot. So, uh-huh. Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Nusuki starts laughing. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so adorable. I, I, why? Why, game? Why? Do you have adorable visuals? I totally forgot that happens. What happens? Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minor Minori? Is that how you spell her name? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce Japanese names. Don't task me. It's my favorite character. Oh, it, it, she is... You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh... I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Okay. Natsuki's voice sparkles with the excitement. It's a star... It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can't understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. Yeah, and being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience. Thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Uh, are you ready? Are you all ready with poems? With today's poems? Maybe. Dot dot dot. Oh come on. Your could your timing be any worse? I know. I know the feeling. Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> eh? Ah! Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Really? Do go a, a, like a foot away from me? How? Do you think I have co cooties or something? I won't bite. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish it if you, finish if you don't take it didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Oh, great. By tomorrow? I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get thi through this. Oh, yeah, I know that feeling, too. But I suppose that's a necessary fa sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am, I f or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Probably a bit of both. I mean, seriously. All right, then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. 
My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I know, right? I couldn't really find much inspiration since I never really done this before. I have actually read out loud to a class before, but it is harder for me to read out loud to people. So, yeah. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Oh, this reminds me of the storytelling festival at school. I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is, as is on a wrinkled sheet of a loose leaf torn from a spot from a spiral notebook. Oh, great, those things. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers on a composition notebook. Oh, those are really nice. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching for into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Oh, I get to choose! Ooh! Who should I go to first? Ugh. Oh, music. Okay, I can stop dancing. Why is the soundtrack to this thing so good? I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, seriously. Sayori, Yuri, Monica. You know what? Let's go to Sayori first. She's our best friend. Why not? I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. Yeah, I get the feeling. She's my good friend after all. Dot, dot, dot. This is a good poem, Brendan. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of person who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I wasn't afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that uh, I'm really happy just that you wrote one. No, oh. it just reminds me of how you you really are a part of this club now. Oh, yeah. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet. But that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Brendan. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things, like this for, like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason why I, reason I joined. Shouldn't that be say the reason why I joined? I don't know. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Yeah, sure. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> way to bring up my spirits. We'll see about that. Oh, right. <clears throat> what voice shall I do this? Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away the a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. But it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. That was a great poem until the end, but it was funny. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> well, at least that makes me feel a little better my about myself. Don't be mean. I just tried my best. I still tried my best. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. Yeah, it is bad. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, people. I get all cranky. Yeah. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hehehe. 
This was so much fun! Yay, Monica's the best! Uh, yeah. Next time- but next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever! Yay! Well, I guess I look forward to it. Who next? Let's go to Natsuki since we're pretty calm with her too. Dot dot dot, oh no, she has a face! Question mark. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Dot dot dot. Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? Then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh... In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said, uh... Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem that makes me go, Ha! Well, it's not great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. Oh, did I ruin your expectations? Were you sending your expectations really that low from me? I don't know why I had my expectations for yours. I was thinking everyone else was going to be higher. But thank you for ruining my day a bit. I hope you're happy. Dot, dot, dot. So in other words, you're saying you liked it? Urk. <laughs> Natsuki re re resorts get the resort. Re blah. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so. You're just you. Don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self important. I'm not. Pretty sure you've never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Grr, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Ooh, sounds interesting. Here's my next voice. Actually, it's gonna be the same voice. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. That's a nice and simple poem. Yeah? I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. No. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the isn't that the point of for po poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disorienting. Har I'm pretty sure that's what that word is. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Yeah, that's true. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it, it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah. Guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nasuki is feeling proud that I won't take that away from her. Who should I show my poem to next? Let's go to Yuri. Let's go to Monica last. Dot dot dot. Why does everything have to start with dot dot dot? Hmm. Dot 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 again. Yuri stares at, my, at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um... Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um... It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I'm pretty sure I should have wrote, written a poem at least one other time in English, though. 
I mean, they, I'm pretty sure they have an English- Oh, wait. This is a Japanese school. But Japanese should write poems, right? Do they? I'm- I don't know. But since they're speaking English, I'll say Eng an English class, though. Because it is an English, I'm gonna say English class, but if they took an English class, they would need to write poems, because I know I did. But if it was Japanese, I can get why, but... Uh, if they didn't do poems, that is. But I'm- I- I'm pretty sure they did poems while they're in their Japanese classes, maybe? I have no idea. Maybe it was a writing class. I, uh, I need to get my charger up and ready. There we go. Okay. Back to reading. I guess that it might be after reading the, the reading though through it. Oh, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, Yuri buries her face in her in her hands, in her words, in her in her words. How do you bury your face in your words? I don't know. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes, and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to a new to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and have been through that my I've been and have been through that myself. I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Oh, really? In other words, they tend to tend to pick up pick up. Blah! I can't. Do this. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form they and they form and fit the two together. The end result is the is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but putting them to work. Together, it, putting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a bit uh, uh, can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um. Well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Nasuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily and I, uh, as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't it that supposed to be a literature club? Oh. Okay. Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing, it must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calms, breathing, air, I, I, I bathe, Calms, breathing air of present, but living in the past, the light flickers, I flicken back. Interestingly enough, that was an interesting poem. Dot dot dot. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I, I, I know, I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, it's, uh, well, I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad that you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh-huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Brendan. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They, uh, they usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically, symbolically compared to a ghost. 
lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot of, uh, more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's not really. It's nothing really. Ugh. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. All right, one more. One more. Monica. Hi, Brendan. Having a good time so far? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything. If you have ever, uh, if you ever have suggestions of uh, any suggestions for the club, like new activities or anything we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poems with me? Poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Brendan. We're all a little embarrassed today, do you know? But it's not- but it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had my- Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Brendan. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Suki would write. And she's a good writer, too. Oh, she's a good writer, too, and I forgot to say the two. So take that as a compliment. Uh huh. If you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they, all, they are only a few lines long. They might be, even feel like they've written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express the views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that. Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they are super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying di some trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see what see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I always I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not what we're doing at all. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm very I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have a sound. I uh, because that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Okay, <clears throat> last poem. Oh no, there's a scroll wheel. That means this is longer. My voice can barely hold, hold, hold this. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction of sp spackle? See the direction of spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I'm here inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Well, that was nice. So what do you think? Hmm? It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> that's okay. Really, yeah, that kind of style has gotten poetry, um, gotten pretty popular nowadays. 
That is, a lot of poems have been putting an emphasis on the timing between the words, between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was that inspiration behind this one? Huh? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Hmm. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Epif an, an epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem, a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try to, if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it, about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a bit dark, big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Well, that's nice advice. Thanks for listening. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to actually end here because my voice can barely take any more. Oh boy, <laughs> too much reading. Well, anyways, I'll see you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please rate. Blah blah blah. Let me start all over on the outro. Please rate, comment, and subscribe on this video. And thanks for being awesome, awesome nears. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.